With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we are going to see this question. The question says that in the above question, the angular velocity will be. Okay. So the question was basically, what was the question is that there was a wheel. Okay. And it was being rotated about its axis. So let's suppose this is the wheel and it was rotated about its axis. This was the initial case. And finally, what was done? There was a small mass m put on its ring, rim. Okay. At the end. So what was the basically uh, this is the scenario. So it is to telling that what is the change in angular velocity in the final case. So if you see over here, no external force is being applied. Okay, no external force or torque force or torque. Okay, no external torque. Let's suppose. Okay, because you may get uh, uh, confused with mg that I'm talking about something else, but so there is no external torque over here okay so what we can use we can use the conservation conservation of angular momentum angular momentum that means that if over here what will happen is that in initially what was the uh, what was the moment of inertia for initial case i'll write two cases that is initial initial and final okay so for the initial case what was the thing initial case the moment of inertia i was equal to m into r square okay we'll consider this as a wheel as a ring okay so it will be equal to m into r square r being the radius okay let's suppose this distance is r okay r and finally when the this mass was put because moment of inertia is a scalar quantity we'll just add the two masses okay this will not be small m this will be capital m because you might get confused with this small m okay so the mass of the wheel is capital m and i of final will be m into r square which is mr uh, in moment of inertia of wheel plus small m into r square which is moment of inertia of this okay so now what we are going to do we are going to use the thing that is you can e easily see you can easily see over here that i initial is less than i final because there is this quantity being added. So if we talk about uh, the conservation of angular momentum, I, I omega I must be equal to I F omega F. Okay. If you see over here that I I is greater than means less than I F. That means this quantity and this quantity means this is greater this is less that means to balance this equation i omega okay over here i omega must be more than i f okay means not i omega means omega omega i must be greater than omega f that means omega i must be greater than omega f to satisfy this equation satisfy this equation okay because this equality will only be possible when if uh, this is already given this case is already given that means this to make this equality possible omega i must be greater than omega f that means omega decreases okay so in the above equation what will happen angular velocity decreases thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today